Big updates on the Vanguard to a census solo 401k transfer. Hi, this is financial planner Sean Mullaney. Let's discuss. So as I record this, it's July 22nd, and the big transfer from Vanguard to a census has happened for solo 401ks, and this CrowdStrike technology bust that happened last Friday, that did not delay it, so that's good news. I've got two big updates on the transfer. Uh, first is a very important one for those who had Vanguard solo 401ks that are going to that went to a census. The big thing to keep in mind is the beneficiary designations did not transfer, so it is quite imperative for anyone who now has an a census account because their Vanguard solo 401k went over to a census this weekend. Very important to get in there, set up the account, and set up the beneficiary designation. If you take no action, you now have no beneficiary designation for your solo 401k at a census, and that is not a good place to be. You want to make sure there is an up-to-date, on-file beneficiary designation form. And oh, by the way, you might want to go back to Vanguard for any accounts you have back over there just to make sure there's an up-to-date uh, beneficiary designation form for that. So first big thing is make sure you log into your census account and make sure you update your beneficiary designation form beneficiary designations did not roll over from Vanguard to a census. Okay, so that's the first big update. The second big update is for those who had a Roth solo 401k at Vanguard. Um, pretty good news in this uh, uh, regard. However, you do want to take some action. So what happened with the rollover of the Roth solo 401ks to a census is the cost basis information in the Roth 401k has transferred over to a census. That's fantastic news. So what that means is the historic contributions that were made while it was a Vanguard Roth solo 401k, that total number has rolled over to a census. Very good news. Um, why do we care about that total number? We care about that because later on in life, if that thing, first of all, if we ever take a distribution from that uh, Roth Solo 401k, or if that Roth Solo 401k ultimately winds up in a Roth IRA, that's going to be important to know, particularly if we're taking distributions before age 59 and a half, possibly even if we take distributions after 59 and a half. Um, it's important to know that number because that number very much governs the taxability of any non-qualified distributions, and that number is our basis number. That number goes into a Roth IRA as old annual contributions, the best type of thing to have in a Roth IRA. So it's important to make sure that you have that number, and it's good to see that a census uh, did capture that in the rollover. Um, however, what are, not rollover, transfer. Um, another thing to keep in mind, though, is Vanguard has statements closing out the account in the Vanguard portal, and the statement closing out the Roth Solo 401k has that historic cost basis. Would not be the worst idea in the world to download a PDF of that statement so that you've got additional documentation from the Vanguard side. Hey, you know, I made 20,000, 30,000, whatever the number is of old annual contributions to my Roth Solo 401k. So if I ever take a distribution, I've got that number captured, and I can appropriately tax it if it's not a qualified distribution, or if it ever goes into a Roth IRA and I take a non-qualified distribution, I can appropriately recover my old annual contributions to a Roth IRA because that number goes into a Roth IRA as old annual contributions. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.